Well, today our lovely, lovely Paige Hemmes is going to show us how to make a feminine feather art piece that can enhance any space in your home. That's feather. right. I'm feminine. very excited about feather, it. Feather, feminine. Feathers. Art. Mm. Yes. And I'm back here crying because now get off. <laughs> and the weird thing is that I know. I knew the whole story. Yeah. I know Matt is leaving yeah. us. I know when. I know he's coming back and I'm still a mess. Yeah, so. we all are. we're a big family. Oh so I'm going to show him how to make a new art piece for his home. Okay. In Nashville. Good. I feel in like Nashville. feathers belong in Nashville, don't they? And he's going to save some money with this. <laughs> I will tell you. He yes. will because this is not, uh, I, these are expensive, These are expensive. Right? I know yes. you use them to stage your home. I do, you know, how, yeah. how expensive can they I have, go? I have one house that I'm staging right now. I bought a piece for this and it's so expensive. I think we have a picture. It's a great big silver piece of artwork made from feathers uh -huh. and I got it on sale for $800 for That's $799. That's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Very, very expensive. But here's a way that we can all make it for a lot cheaper if you're not That's pretty. staging oh, a right. 6,000 square foot. That's a wrong line of work Yeah, people are paying $800 for that. I, wow. But it does take a while, so yeah. put on okay. a couple okay. Hallmark <laughs> movies. Yes. You know how I feel about that. That looks to right. me like two and a half movies. Uh, that did. Okay. It was actually less than one. Oh, really? Was it really? Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. so not that much time. All but, right, all right well. so you got started earlier today. Yes. Let's take a look. Sounds good. So these are regular feathers that you can buy from the craft store. I actually got mine at Mother Plucker. Uh, down in downtown LA. Okay, it's we're just fantastic. So I've actually used foam, foam, foam core as my middle section. So you can see this is very high tech. I'm taking that plus hot glue, a crafter's best friend, and cutting off the bottom of the feathers. And whatever, I used a 20 by 20 shadow box, but you can do the one that is in the house that I showed you is five feet by five feet. You can do this any size that you like. 20 by 20 is a good piece. So you actually just take the feathers, put them in the glue on the foam core, and go all the way around. So you're gonna wanna, <laughs> that's the same wine glass I used to make the circle. Okay. I'm using that because it's yeah. hot glue. You want to make sure that you don't press it down with your fingers. Yeah, because see, I'm kind of going outside. Should have been outside. full, right? Though. No, <laughs> no, I'm not a drinker. Oh, okay. Yes. So you put that all the way around, and this is your first level, and you're gonna want to make sure that that's pushed all the way down. Now for your second level, you can pick another color. I picked this great burgundy that I thought was really, really girly. So you make them smaller. You start out big, yep, and then you, you make them smaller, yep. graduate. I think you started okay. a wine glass, and you right. graduate at a right. little you know, champagne toaster. And then right there at the end, that tiny little piece was actually a feather boa. So you can see this, it's it's got a lot of um, texture to it, yeah. where if you use this, towards the middle, right. it's going to get kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah it's not going to have much. Yeah. So I use the Feather Boa, which is only about $2 from the craft store. And the it. rest of this, you can get what any color, whatever type you would so like. So let me see if I get this right. You want Matt to put a Feather Boa in his new house? I think it'll be great. Okay. This will look great. Just, just wanna let him know yeah. what he's doing. So this is what you saw me finish in the tape. And these, if you guys want to check out our Facebook page, I'm going to show you how to actually spray paint feathers to give that graduated look, to bring those two oh, colors cool. together. So we turn this over. I've already added one piece of Velcro, but this is whatever kind of shadow box you get will have this on. They'll either come with pins or uh, come with a little Velcro. And then we take this and mark. Let me see. Got to put it on there. Okay. Other way. This way? Nope. This Turn way. up. Oh, yeah. Yep. There it is. Yep. And I marked the middle right there. And I'm just going to match these middles up. And this is the top. Here we go. All right. About there. It just Velcros into place. And then if you pick that up, that's going to be, that's on your back of your shadow box and see that holds into oh. place. And then if you wouldn't mind yeah, what you getting all those feathers. For? Okay. Now, because this is kind of fabric in the back, oh, your feathers are going to go everywhere. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit messy of work, but you can just take a lint roller and get rid of all of that. Okay. That is perfect. And how important is to have the glass, because nice and clean too. Okay. Nice and clean glass, yes. And then you just yeah, put this in. Yeah, there's nothing worse getting those things sealed up. You're like, oh, there's a smudge. There's a spot yeah. inside. So, yep, just lock this into place. And there you go. You have a nice piece That's of artwork for a little less money. We're going to nice. give that to Matt Beautiful. before he leaves today. And these are, again, remind me the cost on this. This is under $30. Or $800? Or $800, oh, yes. Oh, great. Wonderful.